Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, by myself. And welcome back to the resolution in the box. That is quite a diabolical. Mm. So last time, we cleaned up some puzzles from Dropstone, because we didn't do many there, I realized. We kind of just kind of spe speed ran the story, which you know is fine, since Granny keeps all the puzzles. And I think it's time for us to do some more Wi-Fi ones. Now, hopefully this time I get more than five done, since there's still all those. But, we'll see. Let us start with paper and scissors. Let's say you took a square piece of paper and cut off the corners to make the largest possible circle. But then you realize you needed a square piece instead and cut off the curves to make the largest possible square. How many times bigger was the original square than the one you have now? Okay. This doesn't seem that bad. How many times bigger was the original square? Uh... I don't know. Two times? to test my theory. Simple as that. Alright. The square is twice as big. Uh, okay. Please just have a lot of those. I love those. A, B plus B equals B, A. Mm. Let's replace the numbers in the equation. 12 plus 12 equals 24. A is now 1, B is now 2, and C is now 4, which gives us the new equation, AB plus AB equals BC. Now think about another such equation, AB plus B equals BA, where the letters may have different values from the sample equation above. What numbers could replace the A and the B to make the second equation true? Alright. Okay. This is just, this is just math, this is simple. Alright, well then. Let's try... Hmm. Huh. So... A... Right, has to be a small number, and B has to be a big one. Hmm. All right, let me let me just try stuff. Let me just try stuff. So like, fifty-four plus four is fifty-eight. That's not it. And since the first two used one and two, I don't think it's gonna be those. Let's try like 43. No. Huh. Could no, they're they're singular digits. So
men. Hmm. I mean, this one is simple, but it's still hard to figure out. Okay, so like 37 plus 7 would be 44, so that's not right. Maybe they're both big numbers? Okay, so that would be 98. Oh, look, look, there you go, there you go. All right. Consider this puzzle solved. All right. I definitely think we're on a better roll than the first one. The first uh, Wi-Fi episode. So that's going good. Very nice. What number? Oh boy, is it more math. I can't wait. How is this, like the Fibonacci sequence? The numbers in the diagram below follow a certain rule. Some manipulation of adjacent numbers is used to derive the number centered below them. So what number goes in the space marked with a question mark? The rule at work here is absolute, so there are no exceptions. Okay. Alright. Some manipulation of adjacent numbers. Okay, so... So then these two have to get this one. So then something in 12 gets 10, 18 and 30 gets 12, 16 and 18 gets whatever. Okay. Um... Hmm. Let me bust up the calculator. Let me bust it out. Okay, so 160 and 144. What could I do with that? Some manipulation. The rule at work here is absolute. There are no exceptions. Percentages were one. So, like, I'm doing 144 divided by 160%. That's 90. That's something. Maybe 144 plus 160%. That's 806. Okay. Wait, no, hang on. I did 460%. Okay. Okay, my 
minus 160%. No. Okay, let's do it the other way. Wait. 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 I just did 160 minus 144. It gets me 16. Is it really that fucking simple? Is it really that easy? 144 minus 162 is... It's negative 18. 162 minus 687. Wait a damn second, hey? Okay, so let me just try something. Let me just try... 2. Let me, let, me just, let, me just, let me just try that. Let me just try two. This should do the trick. Okay. Ah, uh, well. Because, like, it was almost there, but then 162 minus 687 is negative 525, so it's, it's not 30. But 18 minus 30 is negative 12. Huh. I'm just going away in my calculator here, and I'm not getting much, but huh. Okay, so it's probably not um It's probably not subtraction. So then it has to be something else. 160 to 16. Or maybe... Um, six plus eight plus seven. I'm maybe thinking that it's you take the big number and just add the numbers inside of it. So then 1 plus 6 is 7, and then 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. Okay then, so then by that logic, 7 plus 9 is 16, so then let me try that. This should do the trick. Alrighty, there you go. Huh, wonderful. Tried to trick me, tried to trick me. Mm -mm. Alright. I think this is definitely going better than last time. Mouse escape. Oh, God, damn it! Of course. Why was I expecting anything different? Of course, there is a sliding block puzzle.
Sliding block puzzles. A true Ugh. leaves no puzzle unsolved. That man's not gonna repay me. Different chickens. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I like these. All right. Let's see here. First, I gotta find the differences. Okay, so it's not C. I believe it is B. Consider this puzzle solved. Yep. I love those. Give me more no of those. Unsolved. Territory War. Oh, it's one of these. Three kings have become entangled in territory disputes or the land shown below. They have decided to divide the land by covering it red, blue, and yellow after the national colors. The rule for dividing lands is that each territory must not border another territory of the same color. A is red and B is blue. What color is C? Circle that color's king to enter your answer. Wait. What? Wait. Um... Am I stupid? This should do the trick. I guess I'm stupid. Uh, well, well, I suppose you can't win them all. The only way to solve a puzzle like this is to actually do it. I, I don't. What? I guess I just read it wrong. I, mm. Okay, I just have to see what this one is. So I guess it's not yellow. I guess it has to be blue or red then. Actually, why am I doing this? It's only a free choice. I can just, I can just bum rush this. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, so then it has to be blue. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. Theory. Ha! 
Ah, like this is the weekly puzzles. There's no, there's no picarats here. It's blue. Okay. I don't care if I get it wrong. A sure win. Oh, it's a fellow. Okay. In this game, players take turns moving stones. Da -da -da. I am three of your stones. Da -da -da. There's one move that white can make to ensure a white victory. Okay. Um. It's this one, right? Oh wait, hey? This is not a fellow. What is this? Sorry, I'm not doing anything, I'm just looking at this. If this was Othello, I could have easily got this. That's it. That's it. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Alright, the Mobius puzzle. Like the Mobius strip? Yes. By twisting a thin ribbon of paper once and forming a ring with it, you can make a ring with one continuous surface. If you started to draw a line on one side, it would eventually cover both sides and join back up with itself. This is the famous Mobius strip. If you cut along this line with a pair of scissors, which shape would the paper make? I would think this would be easy. Consider this puzzle solved. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Hmm. I, okay. I may try that. I probably won't, though. Where the fuck are we going to get paper? Too many bridges. Jeff Bridges? Hmm? There are many rivers running through this town. They built 12 bridges. It's possible to cross each bridge only once on your way to the goal. But which letter would you have to start at to do this? Each bridge? Okay.
There you go. It's A. And now to test my oh, theory. Was neat. And there we have it. I guess it's because everyone had like only A had three bridges, so. The Rotating Arrow. Here we have a pentagon with equal sides. As shown in figure one, a square with sides the same length as one side of the pentagon sits flush against the five-sided shape. It's labeled with an arrow pointing up. If you flip the square along the pentagon, as shown in figure two, the arrow on the square changes direction. Using the diagram below, figure out which direction the arrow faces. If you continue to flip the square along the pentagon counterclockwise back to its original position. Okay. to test my theory. That was very simple. Why were the starting Wi-Fi puzzles way harder than these ones? Hmm. Alright. A row of dice. A number of dice. Are arranged in a row as shown below. Can you figure out which die, A through D, belongs in the spot marked by the question mark? All the dice are arranged so that where one die touches another, the two faces that are touching have the same number on them. Assume all the dice are identical. Okay, well then, the numbers touching can't be any of the numbers I see. That eliminates two, three, four, and five. So then that leaves one and six. To be touching. So then if one and six are touching, it can't be B or D. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, so then that's to be well, seen. I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. Consider this puzzle solved. There you go. Ha! Huh, wonderful! on the loose. <sighs> nah. Nah. I don't want to. I don't want to. We're going to end it there. We went from 5 to 17, so definitely way way better than last time making good progress on these i wonder if we'll finish these before the end of the story probably i don't know we'll see but don't write them i've been player one and we'll see you next time 
when we continue on in the actual story. I had two episodes of bullshit, but we'll continue on. Alright, bye bye.